Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So a couple months ago, my new friend reached out to me. His name is Hadenori Tanaka, and he works for Tolson. Wanted to see if I could get on your schedule. And I'm like, Tanaka-san, let's do it. All right, guys, so before I get going today, good morning to everybody. Ooh, that's a good one today. New house blend by them. At least that's what the sign says, house blend. So my hot roast house blend coffee, dark roast of the day is Edmund Safty. Edmund Safty. If you want to support my dark roast house blend Pete's Coffee Habit Network, is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you in advance. Thank you, Edmund. Okay. All right. So my buddy uh, Tanaka-san here um, just came by and we just talked about Tolson. So Tolson is a brand, Japanese origins, still Japanese headquarters, I actually have experienced their strings back in, I feel like the 80s or the 90s. They've had, I mean, a lot of this, the packaging has kind of remained the same. If you guys have gone to Japan and have walked into a tennis shop before, it's the same packaging. It's kind of on the bright side. Very, I call it traditional Japanese because... You know, they got the words in there. This is kind of like how things look in a tennis shop because it wants to kind of pop in their uh, display. So I don't, I didn't know much about the strings. I mean, I knew about them back in the day, but those were all synthetics in the 90s. So actually, I'm going to let um, Tanaka-san take over from here. In markets, there are many hard material shaped poly. If you want to board bite, very easy hard material, but if so, uh, using hard material, making butt vibration, flying ball is a little bit difficult. But if you want to board fly more using soft material, cannot buy, cannot buy the ball. But everybody want buy the ball more, but flying ball more, and so game vibration. The very difficult. That's our Devil spin have one strings, two material. Okay, like this. This white area, three area is hard material. And so around the area is a soft material. Ball bite by hard material. Flying ball and game vibration by soft material. It's a Japanese technology. One strings, two different material, polyester strings. Yeah, usually, okay, in market, Hyper G, RPM Brass, shaped poly, using hard material, bite ball more. Very, everybody can imagine very quickly. But so, hard material, of course, you know, professional, you know, bad vibration, shoulder, shoulder elbow, and back pain. <laughs> so, our so technology, our debris, my recommended strings for any level player. HD Astar Poly, 119. Very thin and soft, the ball by easy. It's a, my, uh, recommended for any level player. This strings also one strings, two material. Outer area is a soft material for flying ball and game vibration. But inside, like I saw lotus roots, <laughs> uh, it's a little bit hard material for make power. Wow. It's a Japanese technology. All right, so he spoke about this devil's spin right so it looks like this on the cross section so it's actually two strings blended into one or pieced into one so you got a great combination of both feel and firmness in this one string okay so that is called devil spin the other one that he was talking about which he was saying looks like this. 
right? As you can see, the parts in the middle, which are the firmer parts of the string, is meant for firmness again. So the firmness, as he keeps saying, is what is going to let you to spin the ball harder. Now, the outside part of the, the string is the softness, which is the initial impact, which makes it more comfortable for you. So that's why you got durability and the comfort here. So they sell, they sell singles like that. So they go dry, dry, and then normal over grips. All right, guys, check it out. I had to have you watch me do this real quick because I was putting, taking this apart to uh, put on Coach Goo's racket. And this is, they call it the wet type, which means tack. Um, and I, when I was putting this on, I was like, there's plastic on both sides. See, we got the side that's the back side. Oh, excuse me. This is where you're gripping. And then the back side has plastic too. Who else does this? I'm going to give Goo the devil's spin. And I'm going to string my own with the Aster Poly 119. All right, guys, so just finished with the Tolson strings and the grip. Let's start with the grip. Um, Coach Goo, what'd you think of that over grip? Uh, it is a really good grip. I love this grip. Super tacky. It reminds me of the Dunlop Super Tack, which is one of my favorite grips. This could be a bit more tacky than that, which I don't mind at all. Uh, I love ta tacky over grips uh, just because they're, they're a little more sticky and just easy to just grip onto. Um, but overall, they did a great job. Definitely competitive within the market nowadays. I think Tulsan did a great job with this grip. Yeah, I feel the same way. This very much feels like some of the top grips in the industry, a la Dunlop, Gamma, Pro Overgrip, Yonex. Yeah. Um, they, Coach, give a little bit of secret. Tulsan actually said they make a lot of stuff for other people. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, so that's a good reason why. <laughs> so I strung Coach Goo's racket with the Red Devil's Devil. Spin. <clears throat> Coach Goo, I'm going to yes. show you a picture of the cross section of that string. That looks like a devil, right? Yes, it does. As I've shown you back at the shop. Okay, so it's soft poly on the outside. Mixed, yes, with hard poly. Oh. Yes. So the softness softens and dampens the impact. The hard poly is what's going to impart the massive spin. Hmm. What'd you think of that? Uh, I definitely felt a little bit of that softness uh, when I first impacted the ball. I was really surprised how soft, it, like soft, it felt for a bit, and then afterwards it, it kind of jumped off a lot of spin, which I was not expecting. Because usually soft strings, they're known to go a little more like flatter and a little more faster. So they, they're kind of like gut. It's basically like they just hold on and just launch out. Um, this actually surprisingly pocketed a little bit. So when it, when I felt it, it felt nice because it was just like that soft kind of countervail feel to it. And then afterwards, when I kind of let it go, it definitely had some bite on that ball. So really shocked, but overall really surprising. <laughs> I had definitely had a lot of fun with the string. And for people who are looking into like a new string to have fun with or a string that kind of is interesting but good definitely check the string out all right thank you coach of course now <clears throat> his racket got strung at 60 pounds like yes. it always does 
It is always tight. <laughs> and I was actually able to hit with it. You which, liked it. Which is surprising. 60 is way out of my range. This was actually very comfortable. It I is was very actually, comfortable. I was actually able to hit through it, get some spin, get some decent power. Um, didn't hurt my arm. Tennis elbow people. Mm -hmm. Good string. Good yeah. string for a poly. Right? For you guys who have tennis elbow that wants a soft yet firm poly, great choice. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. Devil spin, guys. Devil spin. Definitely check okay. it out. I'm going to hang on to this. I'm going to yeah. hand you my racket. Um, yep. And I use the Aster poly. Yeah. But that is in a 119. So it's pretty thin. It is thin, yeah. Okay. What would you think of that? Um, overall, I think it had great pop. Um, surprisingly, it had great pop. Good feel for it. Is it a pretty, it's a soft string, isn't it, huh? It's a soft with the, yeah. with the firm, too. With the firm, too. Uh, but I feel like this one was a bit softer, a bit like a little more softer than the, the Devil Spin. Um, but yeah, same amount of power, same amount of feel. Like it was surprising about these strings, it has great feel. Um, usually soft strings usually just mute the kind of like just mute the ball, so you don't feel as much. But this actually does a great job of like kind of muting a bit, like kind of muting the vibration a bit, but also giving you that feel of extra spin when it comes off and leaves your racket. So um, this is a great string as well. I feel like you can get away with a lot of power, spin, and just feel. That's what I am impressed, impressed about with these strings, honestly. So this was strung at 50 pounds. The gauge is 18 gauge yeah. at 119. Goo was actually able to... I was able to actually control it. <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> that tells us a lot about this string. It's here. a really good string. Yeah. And it's been holding tension very well. Yes. At an 18 gauge. I might actually try more of this red one, the Red Devil. It is, it, it is very impressive. I was very shocked. So we are both um, super impressed with the strings, mm -hmm. the grip, um, the whole line. Have you ever heard of Tolson? No, it's my first time ever you ever telling me this. Well, I think Tolson's been around since before you were born. Now you guys knew. Mm. All right, so Tolson, guys, all right? Who would have known? All right. I want to thank my man Goo for hanging out with me today. Coach Goo, where can we find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll see you posting content there as well. All right, all right, guys. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.